guys, in this video, we're gonna go over five signs that you may have carpal tunnel. So the first one is called a positive flick test. So the flick test, you just take your wrists and you shake them like this. If, the, if this reproduces pain or it reproduces tingling or burning sensation in your hand or in your wrist, um, that's a positive sign. The next sign, number two, is that you have a wrist thickness to width ratio that's greater than 0.67. So what you do is you just measure the thickness of your wrist, so from the front to the back of it, to the width, and then that ratio, if it's over 0.67, is another positive indicator that you may have carpal tunnel. The third one's an easy one. Carpal tunnel is more common in people that are 45 years of age or older. The fourth one is if you have decreased sensitivity on your thumb compared to sensitivity in this area of your hand. So all you have to do for this one is you just have to touch this area on your thumb, then touch this area on your hand and see is it less sensitive on my thumb? Can I feel a little bit less than I can when I rub here? And then the fourth one, and I'll post a link to this in the video, is a score on something that's called the Boston Carpal Tunnel Symptom Questionnaire. So what you do here is you just answer some simple questions on here, and then you average the score out. And if your score is greater than 1.9, then that's another positive sign. So there's five of them. You don't necessarily have to have all five, but the more that you have, the higher the likelihood that you have carpal tunnel syndrome. So a couple of the things that you wanna look for, and you're probably finding this video because you do have some symptoms in your wrist and hand, are do you have paresthesia, which means tingling, burning, or a different, different sensation in your hand and it's mostly going to be on the palm side of your hand along your thumb first finger your middle finger and then just this inside of your ring finger and then if we flip your hand around you're going to have those symptoms in these fingers here so pointer finger middle finger towards the top here and then in the inside of this finger so the carpal tunnel syndrome means that you basically have some irritation of the median nerve. The median nerve runs right through your wrist right here and the bones in your wrist, your carpals, actually form a little tunnel that is covered by a ligament. And so that's why the pain is here. The next thing I'm going to do, and you can check out this video here at the end, is I'm going to talk about some different physical tests that I would do here in the office and some that you can do at home that will shed some more light on if you indeed have carpal tunnel. Don't forget to follow um, and subscribe to our video and have a great day.